This video will be about flashing a custom ROM to your Xperia Z device. Uh, this video was requested uh, from my subscribers because I had, uh, in one of my previous videos, I did a lollipop video on Xperia Z and they wanted to know how to do it, so I decided to make a tutorial. These are the steps that you need to take in order to flash a custom ROM to your device. This is just an overview of all steps and we'll go through each one of them. First thing to do is to unlock the bootloader, although a word of warning here. If you do it, you'll lose the Bravi Engine 2. Although there is a way to keep it, and I'll give you a link in the description below if you wish to check it. Open up the first link in the description and it will lead you to the website of Sony where you can unlock your bootloader the official way. Although, even if you unlock it the official way, you are still going to lose your Bravi Engine 2. Uh, you just follow all the instructions down here. I won't cover it in, to, in this tutorial, but it's fairly easy. You just follow the instructions and you can't go wrong in this one. Second part is to download and install the USB drivers required for the flashing process. Please don't skip it because this is pretty important. Uh, before you doing all this, you need to enable USB debugging on your uh, Xperia Z and after enabling USB debugging, connect it to your PC and then uh, head into device manager and you'll see a question mark above the Xperia Z and you'll need to fix it by downloading and installing these USB drivers and that's what we are doing right now. Open up the link number 2 in the description and you'll end up on Sony's website for USB drivers. In here you'll find Xperia Z on the second page download it and open the zip file you need to unpack this folder to somewhere where you will remember then open up device manager and right click on your Xperia ADB with a question mark and click the update driver software browse and then find the folder where you've extracted it and click on next now we need to download the flash tool this step is pretty easy just follow what I do and it'll be okay Open the link number 3 in the description and download the flash tool from the mirror right here. Install it afterwards. This part is fairly straightforward, just download the ROM you want and the Google Apps for it. Open link number 4 in the description and decide which ROM you want to download. In my previous video I downloaded and installed the Cyogen Mod 12 Lollipop ROM and uh, for this video I'm not going to install uh, this exact ROM on my phone but I'll try a different one but still if you wish to download this one you can do it from here also download gaps from the third post in this ROM here you can download the minimalistic Google Apps which you'll download from the first link on this site the next part requires of you to download the custom recovery or the CWM which is necessary if you wish to flash your ROM and Google Apps to your Xperia. Head to link number 5 in the description and download the CWM from where I downloaded it here. I'll show you on this video so just watch carefully. After finish downloading, unpack just the boot IMG to a place where you'll remember because you'll need it for later. This step requires of you to copy the ROM and the gaps you've downloaded previously to your phone, preferably to the SD card if you have one. Now we need to flash the CWM via the flash tool program that you've installed earlier. Follow the steps that I do here. Connect your phone via the USB to PC and do what I'm doing on screen here. You'll know that the phone has rebooted to fast boot mode once its LED at the top right corner is blue color. This is the boot IMG that you have extracted a couple of minutes earlier when you downloaded the custom recovery.
you can just turn on this program and then wait for the next step where you'll see what to do next with your phone. This is the last step and it's pretty easy. You don't need your PC for it. You just need your phone. Check out what I'm doing. Turn on your device and as soon as the pink LED starts flashing, uh, hit the uh, volume up button repeatedly in order to enter into CWM. Swipe up and swipe down to move between these options and swipe to the right to select it. Uh, first thing you need to do is to wipe all data and uh, make a factory reset which I'm doing right now. Then you need to wipe the cache partition as well. The third thing to do is to go into advanced and then wipe Dalvik cache as well. It's also important to do this one. Right now you can choose to install zip from here and then choose SD card 1 or SD card depending on where you've uh, copied your ROM and gaps. I've copied to SD card, that's why I'm choosing the SD card 1. Right now choose your ROM zip and hit install and wait until it finishes. And then you can install the gaps as well. You do it the same way as with the ROM. And after completing gaps, you can then reboot your phone and wait until it boots up. It takes a little bit longer to boot for the first time, but don't worry, it's gonna boot anyways. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel and also like this video because it means a ton to me and it really helps me make better videos and better quality ones. So if you did enjoy, please subscribe to me. Thanks once again, Marlo out.